Alright guys, HBFC here, and welcome back to Link's Awakening. So, last time I opened up the third dungeon, but uh, we are not getting into the third dungeon yet, so let's do that. So we have to make his way around this way in order to get inside. Don't know why they had to make it such a pain in the arse. the old feather out because uh, Link cannot swim. Don't believe me? Okay, there you go. Right, so there's the entrance to the dungeon, but actually first we just uh, click up these steps here. God damn it. You may notice this suspicious looking pattern of grass there, sort of the squares. We're in the middle of them. Guess what there is if you dig? Go on. Yeah. Another secret seashell. Who'd have thought? How many does that bring us to? 13? Yeah, 13. Alright, let's get inside the third dungeon. Let's get it done. Level 3. Key cabin. Yeah, involves a lot of keys. Alright, so one of those uh, doors you got to chuck. Uh, that to open it up. Thank you very much. Again, a little bit more complicated than the previous two, but still by no means a hard dungeon. Relatively easy still. But anyway, yeah, take out all those enemies there. I think they were called uh, bombites, those uh, bombs that you hit. There we go, we got a key. So if you try to go up the left side here. Got these like crystal things here that you can't pick them up. Must be somewhere to tackle this obstacle. Maybe, but not at the moment. There they are, bombites. Kind of annoying. They bounce around all over the place and blow up. Just try to make sure they don't blow up in your face. All right. Some souls there. Got a chest here. Oh, it's a trap. It's got us all inside. Anyway, to the right here. You can see, we got a chest there in the middle of that platform, but we cannot get past because those blocks are raised. Looks like we have to find one of those um, switches that we had in the previous dungeon. Keep an eye out. There you go, we've got some star for us. Come here, you. You may notice this right here. But don't worry about it for now. Not what we can do. Alright. Oh, two drops. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we've got a chest there as well. We can't get to that again. One, we can't get down the left side. And two, those uh, blocks are there. Can push this, but it's not going to help. We're going down the steps. Oh, look at this. Four doors. Which one should we go through? You actually want to be going through the right one, really. To sort of progress, but uh, we're going through them all because why not? All right, we've got these annoying bastards. I forgot what they're called. Um, I can't remember what they're called. I cannot remember the name, but they're really annoying. Basically, the trick here to do is, well, well, let me just show you. When you try and take them out, and get near them, they disappear and they'll jump over to the other side, or just appear somewhere else in the room. And obviously in this particular room, they're going to appear on the other side. So it's really hard trying to get over there and give one a whack. What I like to do, is give them a bomb. Eat that. <laughs> Got lucky there, knocked him down the thing. One for you as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, normally they uh, take two bombs. Be careful with your bombs, you're going to need them. Alright, down comes the key. Just grab that. Yeah, and these things on the floor here, you step up and they do move you in the direction that the arrow is showing. You can clearly see they're moving anyway. 
we fall down, we lose a bit of health. Alright, so we got a key. Let's take the top door. Jumping Starfoss. Shrouded Starfoss. Kill them. We got ourselves a key. Do we have anything interesting? Under the pots. Nope, but we have got the switch. Let's give that a whack. We'll go ahead and uh, head back. Hang on a minute. Did I hit it twice? I hit it once, that should have put them down. That's weird. I must have somehow hit it twice. Anyway, there you go. Got a storm beak. Looks like the room we'd just come from. We'll go back to it in a minute, but while we're here, we might as well go back to the room that had the uh, the chest on the platform. In here. Got the zones first. Music could stop. Make it stop, please. Boom, there we go. We've got the dungeon map. Is there a look at it? it? I mean, it's not massive, it's a relatively simple layout. Quite a few rooms there, in sort of a square shape at the top. That's where it gets slightly complicated, but not really, though. Alright, let's head back to where we were. See what the uh, the owl has to say. Far away, do not fear. Dash and fly. Okay, it doesn't really make any sense at the moment. Let's take this bottom door. Don't get this guy with it. Oh, there we go. You can take him out with one uh, spin attack. Get ready for the key when you're taking out all the enemies. There it is. I mean, technically these rooms are, um, they're skippable, but you might want to come into this room for the bombs, as I said, you're going to need them, so it's, it is definitely worth coming in, at least down into this bomb room. Alright, let's go right. Wow, this guy's easy enough to get. He'll disappear when I get near him, but he'll appear at the, uh, he'll appear down, oh no, he's going to appear at the bottom. Okay, you annoying bastard. Should still be able to get him. Oh no, damn keys. Took the shot there. Oh, no. Nope. I regret saying it was easy to get him. Well, I do get him straight away, but anyway. Up the steps. Fucking zoles everywhere. There you go, another key. This is why it's called the Key Cavern. Hell of a lot of keys, living up to its name. Take those bastards out. In fact, I think this um, corner pot here. Yep, we can have some more bombs. Now we bring up the map. You can see there's a room to the right of where I am. Yep, that means bombable wall. There's your sound to indicate. Boom! Blow that sucker wide open. So, you can see we've got a big uh, gap there. There ain't no way we can uh, get across that. Feather ain't gonna let us jump that far. You may also notice as well, there's actually a crack wall at the top there. Go on then. Now well, the game kind of intends you to come uh, down this way, as you can see the arrows pointing that way. But it doesn't really matter. Anyway, poke suspicious parts of the wall with your sword and listen to the sounds it makes. So yeah, he's obviously pointing down to the, or well, referring to that wall right there. So yeah, we expect to come around this way, but whatever. I'll do it whichever way I want. See there's also a chest there at the top, can't get that for now. 
All right, we got these fellas right here. As you whack them, it'll start the countdown. So make sure they're uh, out your way before you uh, get caught there like I did. All right, we got the compass. I also say there's also room to my left. There you go. Again, the game don't really intend you to do it this way, but... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to bomb it. I need to be careful with the actual amount of bombs I've got. I'm just going to play it safe for now. Very good at uh, avoiding these guys, am I? A little grin on its face. So I've also got a chest there. Any hearts? Nope. Gels there. Oh, God almighty. It's no ending, is it, this? I'm going to call out the drops this frequent before I really don't. Right, we're not going to go up, we're going to go left. Right, that's right, got you both. Right, take both them out, grab yourself a key, through the one way door. Made a chest there up here on the right, up on the uh, walkway there. Oh god. Didn't think that one through, did I? Alright, let's get those bombs there. Ah, that gives us 14. Plenty of bombs. To defeat the black monster with the hard shell, feed him something explosive. Like bombs. Okay, let's open this chest. 50 rupees. Very nice indeed. Okay, so that's the uh, room from before. That's what you can actually do. I guess I could have just bombed it down there, but I forgot about the bombs. You get in that previous room, you can just chuck one down there and blow it up. We'll have to go back round to that room. We'll do that in a moment. Alright, here we go, mini boss. What you want to do with these guys is uh, get a bomb in the mouth. It can be a little bit tricky. I think uh, Dodongo snakes, I think these are called. And it's a little trick. I don't know if I mention it, but every time you re pick up your bomb, it resets. Uh, resets it so that it doesn't blow up. But there you go. I'm going to try and get one in their uh, mouth. Can just drop one as well in the uh, in the path. They're always changing direction. Plus, you might up uh, walk into one as well. But anyway, you can also cheat as well. Once you've um, killed one, and also, I mean, if you've got no bombs, this is why I'm saying you need to be careful with bombs. You can actually just go up these steps, leave the screen, and come back, and the other one will be dead. I don't know why that happens, but it does. It's kind of cheating, so I'm not going to do it. Oh. Oh. God damn it. 
Obviously, it's harder than it looks getting these guys to eat the bombs. There we go, that should finish him off. Beautiful. forward, this one up, and boom, we got the Pegasus boots, this thing's also made, uh, I think they were first appearance in um, Link, to, uh, Link to the Past, and I probably mentioned this as well in, when I was playing Link to the Past, but I was uh, during the early days of Zelda, I was a little kid, uh, Link to the Past was my first ever uh, Zelda, I mean I was super super young, I just didn't used to read things properly, so I mispronounced everything. And I used to call the uh, the Pegasus boots the Pegulus boots. I don't know how, how I where did I get the L from? <laughs> the Pegulus boots. <laughs> oh, things like um, Kakariko Village, um, Kairoki Village. I used to call it. Anyway, but yeah, with the um, the Pegulus boots. Uh, Pegasus boots. Uh, you can run now. So you can smash through those um, blocks right there. Right, let's bring up the map. What have we got left to do? Okay, I'll tell you what. Yep, we can now get across here because we can combine the boots with the uh, feather. <laughs> you can get across if you tab it, right? Come on, I'll get with it, mate. But yeah, you can now get across the gaps. Oh, there you go. There's a nightmare's key. But uh, not just yet. I'm going to go open the rest of the chests. We ain't done yet. So let's head back down. Actually, it'd be quicker just to um, use the uh, warp point on it. Get off me, little buggers. room to the right here, okay, so it's got one of those uh, vacuum eye things, but rather than this one suck you in, like we saw in the last dungeon, this one pushes you away, but, crack out the old boots, oh, get your sword ready as well, you ready, dash to, oh, okay, right, charge, there you go, you can take it out, and we've got another key, open. So just one more chest to get. Oh, what am I doing? I need that. Throw at the door. Let's take those enemies out. So right, now we can go down this uh, left side. You know where those crystal uh, blocks were before? Smash through them. Okay, and the reason we do that is so you can um, kill that gel enemy that's on the screen there. There we go, back around this way. Kill the Stalfos. Yeah, so with all the enemies done now, I mean the chest appears, we couldn't get that before because there was still that um, gel enemy on the left side of the screen we couldn't get to. So there you go, 200 rupees. Oh, ecstatic! All right, now we're ready to um, take on the boss. Could have gone back through the warp thing, but never mind. Actually, um, there's the other room I've not been to yet, which we don't actually need to go to. I'll tell you about when we get there. Right, take 
these guys out again. I wish these guys had stayed dead. Take all those guys we get out another key. The reason I said we don't need to really go here because this dungeon gives you um, one extra key. So you don't really need it. But it's for completion's sake. Away with you bombs! Look with those bombs, ever. All right, let's make as we uh, to the boss. Yes, we need all all the keys that we've got so far, minus the extra one, so we can start um, getting through these uh, these blocks, which will require a key. There we go. Oh, look at that! An angry red thwomp. I give him a whack. He's not going to give a fuck. Look at him. Does not care. What do we do? Let's give him a dash and a whack. There we go. Don't like that, does he? That's right. Alright. I need the feather in the boots. Boom. Oh, just about there. Just about. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. We know all that. We've got more of these annoying guys. Right, you can just... Dash at him now. Get to him before they can bugger off. It does, uh, I think it does like double the damage as well if you uh, dash attack um, an enemy. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, there's your extra key. So I take, I didn't have the extra key. So I could basically just ignore that key, and of course it's landed right on the... Right on the acorn, of course it has. <laughs> just give me a break game, please! Alright, boss time. So this is Slime Eyes. You can't find me, no nah, nah. I guess we hide him. I guess if this was a 3D game, we could, um... Just look up at the ceiling and see him. So that's where he's hiding, or where he's stuck to. So he's bashing to the wall there. Down he comes, it's a giant slimy eye. So I just want to hack away at him, so he's like that, and then dash to split him. Alright, and I'd get the feather. Because it's going to go up, then it's going to land, and if you're on the ground when it lands, it's going to temporarily stun you. So you just jump before they land, you'll be fine. It's as easy as that. It's been a long running thing through the Zelda series as an enemy with like a big eye or something like that. Gomer, of course, and things, and what have you. Although that enemy, its weak spot wasn't its eye. So it's like slightly different. But there we go, it's third instrument, finally. We've got the Sea Lily's Bell. Oh, listen to it. Beautiful. I don't understand how a bell is an instrument. It's up there to me with a recorder. It's just an horrible noise, isn't it? It's, it's not, you know, it's not music in any way. It's noise. Alright. So we finally got... The third instrument. Still got five to go though. So, we're far from done. But yeah, uh, third dungeon done. So uh, that's going to be it for this part uh, right here guys. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.